For now, convicted murderer Judith Neely doesn't have to face the electric chair in Georgia, but there's a very good chance her husband Alvin will. In the Chattooga County Court, the 19-year-old received a life sentence after pleading guilty to kidnapping in connection with the shooting death of a Floyd County woman last year. And she also agreed to truthfully testify against her husband in the case. Neely was already sentenced to die by an Alabama court in April for killing a 13-year-old girl from Cedartown, Georgia. The agreement is that she will testify truthfully for any party who may call her as a witness. Yet the murder aspect in this case still remains up in the air, and some are even calling it downright ambiguous. Officials from the sheriff's office told us that if Judith truthfully testifies against Alvin like she's agreed to do, her alleged role in this murder won't be mentioned anymore. Defense attorney Bob Lee Cook said it won't be hard for Judith to testify against her husband, that she doesn't even want to see him. My understanding that he pretty much dominated her whole being. And if she didn't do what, uh, what he told her to, that uh, she would receive a very severe and violent beating. The state says it will definitely call Judith to the stand, and it appears that they're after Alvin. And the DA's office has informed me just a few moments ago that they will be going for the electric chair now on Alvin Neely, which the trial will take place January the 9th here in Chattooga County. For now, the Neelys will be kept at the Floyd County Jail until Alvin's trial in January. Meanwhile, Judith's death sentence in Alabama is under appeal. Catherine Kate, TV12, Tri-State Report.